Hello, Lola's. So I am here with little Miss Joy. Raya, Joy Raya. I'm getting myself getting used to that name. Um, the Joy part is fine, I always, but I'm like, Araya. So I wanted to give her a bottle before, and I wanted to do that with you guys. I wanted to give her a bottle before she she's gonna go back to the rooting place. So while I'm painting on another baby, I want to go ahead and do some get some some rooting done with her. So I decided I'm gonna just go ahead and give her a bottle so that she don't cry during the process. Okay. okay, 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 okay. So she got her little bottle, and I sold it just for people. But she's gonna have her a little milky milk. And I really need to put, I need to put the KY on here. But because I have not decided, oh, now a little hat's gonna fall off. Lord, we, we having technical difficulties. But because I haven't decided, yet on her if i want to gloss her mouth or not i don't want to um i don't want to put any ky on her just yet because that could you know be a problem with the, the curing so i'm gonna just um so we just have to work with what we got so Okay, but yeah, she's going to go back on that on my rooting table so that I can try to get her finished. Um, I have some ideas in my head for these babies that I have coming up and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, you know, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, I kind of get to the plate to a place where I feel like um, I feel like uh, I want to keep I just want to paint for me and just keep my babies and stuff like that because you know it's kind of stressful when you're sailing and stuff so and I just you know I enjoy painting and painting them and when I paint them I just fall in love with them so I was like kind of thinking like, oh, maybe I should just, um, you know, try to keep as many as I can. <laughs> but that's not financially smart. So don't worry about that. That's not going to ever happen. But I am um, definitely, you know, have a few that I do plan on keeping. Oh my goodness. You're, you're so full. You're so full. That is, it was so good. It was it's so good. <laughs> she said it was so good. It's so good, Mama. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Let's see. Let's get the burp. Let's get the burp. Oh, okay, okay. Alrighty. We're gonna get the burp. We're gonna get the burp, burp. <laughs> Our little slow feet. Those little feet turn out. <laughs> you know, burp. So, she's one of, her head turns, but you have to kind of give it a little bit of finesse. <laughs> um, which is, it's, it's okay, because like her head, it's not, it may look like it is, but it's not, it's not into, it's not, like her face doesn't go inside the pillow, like you can, you can lay her down. So I'm going to, I'm going to lay her down so I can show you guys. Like I said, um, like I was telling you guys before, some baby's head will turn like, completely at ease and some kind of have that resistance like it doesn't it kind of turns back when you try to turn it so that's kind of how her head goes but with those babies you just when you lay them down you just have to be very 
intentional but not with force sometimes you gotta maybe even you know give a little prop to kind of lean the head upwards so kind of on a slope is what I'm saying and that way that kind of keeps it from going you know into the pillow so see she still can lay on her um, tummy without her head going inside the the pillow or the bed or wherever you're laying or, um, and so that's laying to that side and they always tend to favor one side or the other so they'll turn easier to one side and stay to one side better than they do the other side um, that's I don't know it's just maybe it's the way that you know with the sculpting that it it goes that way but hers seem to be kind of equal but I, I think she might stay on this side she did seem to stay on this side a little bit better so but that's her so her little bum bum so now my job is to undress her and get her wrapped and swaddled so she can go back to my rooting section. And once I get through finish rooting her, I will do her thing, finish her hands and her feet, the, the, the front part of them. The bottom is, I'm not doing anything else to those, but the front, I will be doing that. So if you ever see some of her pictures and you see the front of her toes and they look unfinished, they are. So, um, judge all you want, but that's, that's the way it looks because it's not done completely. Um, she has that not any much color on her nail beds right now, but she will in the end. And um, she may even have a little bit of more color around the, the ends, but it's just, you know, once I get through, I'll do a little more to it. But anyway, so we're all done here. Thanks guys and aunties for keeping me company while I give her this bottle and she's going to sleep so she'll probably sleep through the rooting which is good because that's can be a little painful so um yeah I'm gonna like I said get her undressed a little snap this little outfit is so cute this little rump I kind of hate taking her out of it but girl gotta do what a girl gotta do she gotta get out of this she gotta get out of this <laughs> And um, and remember, I was telling you guys about the babies when they have the little, the little froggy legs. Um, because she's soft, you know, she does still lay out, but it's kind of like in order to make that look a little bit more natural, you would kind of tuck them a little bit to give it. I would like bring this foot up. A little bit like I would try to make it not look just like she's just laying sp sprayed out you know all sprayed out so it takes a little finesse with them but it's okay I love the way she feels her silicone feels and everything so it doesn't matter she's see it doesn't matter we're not gonna be laying on her tummy so much mama are we um after I rooted some more of her hair, I actually really love this hair for her. It just looks so natural on her. It just, I don't know. But we're going to finish it. So I'm actually using some of the hair that I had bought from Angela Plicka um, a year ago. <laughs> However long ago it was when I bought a whole bunch of that hair. So that's what I'm using on her. So let us go ahead and we're going to get her out of this say because we're going to get some hair and when when my mama finished getting me like completely rooted it is going to be so much better because I'm always trying to hold their hats on and they be slipping off maybe looking crazy with their little bald head and a little bit of hair on in, in the front so it's just, it's like, um, what's my baby name? Jasmina. She has like, her hair is rooted all the way 
back to from ear to ear and then she does have some in the back but you can't see that part so it's like a, a, a section about that big in between in the middle of the back of her head that needs to be done but i can lean her if you notice on the video where i was doing the size comparison and she was turned backwards you still couldn't really see that she didn't have she was missing hair in the back but i can still lay her from different angles and without a hat and it looks appropriate but i can't lay her on her tummy without a hat and take her like a full shot picture because you're gonna know she doesn't have the hair and that's, so that that's that's the thing so they have to all get completed um eventually because it don't it don't work so this little shirt this is going to be your shirt because baby you fit this so perfectly i love this on her all right so this is a little button i think okay i don't know how my nails growing out so much my thumb nails are so freaking long I'm gonna probably need to clip them back but I hate clipping them back because they become really sharp so let me try to file them down and like round them off oh you were three see we're getting undressed we're getting undressed we're a little fatter Oh, fatter girl. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, she's getting, she's getting there. She's getting, yeah. So I just tuck her on in. You know, a little tuck. There we go. <laughs> I love that her, her body um, painting came out, turned out pretty good. It, it looks like real skin like black babies they have mottlin but their mottlin is different than um, white babies um, it's not as uh, pronounced in most cases depending on you know the baby and the skin tone and stuff like that and it's you know the coloring of it and all that stuff is kind of different and so um, sometimes you know, to try to capture that is kind of hard. And sometimes, sometimes I, I, I can overdo it. And I'm, I'm glad I didn't really overdo it with her. It just works. Okay, so let me, this is her, her back. <laughs> oh, you feel so soft. You're so soft. A little back. It's so cute. She feels so good. Like this, her and Jasmine, like when you, when you touch them, like they feel so nice. The silicone is like, oh, a little, like it's like, it's like a marshmallow -y feel. It just feels amazing. Oh my gosh. So good. So nice. You make you want to just to keep her holding here. <laughs> Make you want to keep talking, baby talking, sounding stupid on camera. That's right. Serious right. You make you feel serious. <laughs> so yeah, this 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 baby is uh, definitely got me. What 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 y'all say out here these days? Y'all y'all legit bugs be saying got me in a chokehold. She got me in a little chokehold. So yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. I'm excited. I will be glad to see what um, Jennifer comes out with next. Jennifer, her sculptor comes out with next as well. Because I, I find that she's one that I actually really like work too. So I'm going to have to, you know, you know, get a couple more of her sculpts and paint them. Because the last baby that I had from her, I was so in love with that baby. Um, I just felt like um, Brayden. That was his name, Christopher Robin. I just felt like his, he needed to be, if he, his legs were a little bit longer, he was a little, that, uh, that would have been like perfect for me. But he had the most beautiful face and his silicone felt amazing. So, um, so I was really kind of bummed out that I, I needed to let that one go. She needs a little mat right there on her. 
thing but I'm not gonna bother with it because like I said I, when I fit, go to working on the top of her feet I have to do that matting part over it anyway so but anyway I am going to go and I will talk to you guys later thanks for watching oh my gosh this video is way longer than I intended it to be